before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hoped that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Ma in a chief and I in my cat settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the lustre of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer? With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Donner, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an object, mount to the sky. So up to the rooftops with courses they flew, a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard at the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As they drew my head, it was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came at a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished in ashes and soot. A bundle of toys she had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. John's a mouth, John up like a bow, and the beard of his chin, as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe, he held tight in his teeth, and a smoker encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside his nose, with a swift nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, every drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night!
It's so cold, the lines of this poem are sinking into the unforgiving mud, no clean sheet. Dawn on a perishing day, the weapons freeze in the hands of the flat back form. The moon hangs in the air like a ball, skied by a shivering keeper. All these boys want to do, do today is shoot and defend and attack. Light on the half raised wave. The trench lifted, you could see their breath. A ball flies in the, in, in the air like a moon, kicked through the morning mist. All these boys want to have today is a gener generous amount of extra time. No strict formations here this morning. No 442s four or 451s. Four no rules, really. Just a kickabout with nothing to be won except respect. We all show pictures. Ivan learnt his baby's name. Now clear the lines of this poem, and let's get on with the game. No white penalty spot this morning. Players are all unknown. You can see them in the graveyard, in teams of forgotten stone. The nets are made of tangled wire. No man's land is the pitch. A flare floodlights the moment between the dugouts and the ditch. A hundred winters ago, sky opened to the sunshine of the sun, shining on these teams of players. And the sound of the innocent game, all these boys wanted to hear is the final whistle. Let them walk away. It has been so cold. The lines of these poems will be found. Written in the unforgotten mud like a teen sheet. Remember, Remember them. them. Read them again. Running to the window, he opened it and clapped his head. No fog, no mist, clear, bright, jovial, stirring, cold. Cold, piping for the blood to dance to. Golden sunlight, heavenly sky, sweet fresh air, merry bells. Oh, glorious, glorious. What, today? Cried Scrooge, looking downward to a boy in Sunday clothes who perhaps had lighted in to look about him. Eh? Then the boy, with all his might of wonder. What's today, my fine fellow? Today? Why Christmas Day? It's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Of course they can, of course they can. in the next street but one, round the corner. Scrooge inquired. I sure hope I did. A remarkable boy, an intelligent boy. Do you know whether they've sold the prize turkey hanging up there? Not the little prize turkey, the big one. What, the one as big as me? A delightful boy, it's a pleasure to talk to him. Yes, my buck. It's hanging there now. Go and buy it. What? No way. I am in earnest. Go and buy it and tell them to come here that I may give them their direction of where to take it. Come back with the man and I'll give you a shilling. Come back with him in less than five minutes and I'll give you half a crown. The boy was off like a shot. He must have had a steady hand the trigger to have shot off so fast. I'll send it to Bob Cratchit. He shan't know who sends it. It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. He went to church and walked about the streets and watched the people hurrying to and fro and patted children on the head and questioned beggars and looked down into the kitchens and houses and up to the windows and found that everything could yield him pleasure. He had never dreamed that any walk, that anything could give him so much happiness. He became as good as a friend. As good as a master, as good as a man, as the good old city knew, or any other good old city, town, or borough in the good old world. Some people laughed to see the alteration in him, but he let them laugh. His own heart laughed, and that was quite enough for him. And it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well, if any man alive possessed the knowledge. May that be said of us, and all of us, and so, as Tiny Tim observed, Oh, God.